Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do this look heavily inspired by a sculpture by Tina Yu here on YouTube. She is a very talented artist and you should go check her out, FYI. So without further ado, let's get started on this makeup look. So first as always, I am taking my Creolon TV paint stick in 070 and just applying that straight to my entire face per usual. Then I'm taking the sponge by Pure Cosmetics and blending that all in. Make sure to also cover the sides of your lips as well since we will be doing a very pouty lip look later on. Then taking this same powder by Ben Nye. This is in a white formula, so it's going to make your makeup super white, as it implies, of course. And just patting that into the white makeup to ensure it stays on my face all night long. Once you can touch your face without it smearing, you're good to go. Now it's time for eyeshadow. First I'm going to reach for this, um, just a regular pink shadow. I'm going to apply this right above my crease line. Now if you don't have a crease line, just apply it where your socket bone area is. And I'm just really curving that around my eye area, around the crease. So just very lightly sketching that in. Then taking a softer pencil brush and really working that in. Really buffing the color in and out. Ensuring the line itself looks very, very soft on my eyelid. And that looks pretty good. Now to reinforce this line, I'm taking a slightly darker pink shadow. This one here is called Hati Tati from Sugar Pill. Taking that same brush, I'm simply working in this color into the same line as before. Also using a clean blending brush, I'm blending out the edges to make the edges look very soft. You don't want any harsh lines. After that, you want to go in and use a burgundy shadow. This one here is from Makeup Geek. I'm applying this only to the bottom half of my cut crease, blending that upwards. I just want to add more definition to this cut crease look to make it stand out a little bit more. Afterwards, I'm going to use this lip topper from Urban Decay right here, which I've been told you can also use on your eyes. This lip topper right here has an iridescent white color with a blue to violet shift, if you move it around, that is. So I'm just going to apply this right underneath my cut crease. And then I'm just going to apply this over my entire eyelid. So just very softly applying this. And also allow that to dry since you don't want this to crease on you, of course. 
And I'm going to use this iridescent loose pigment from Sugar Pill called Ghosted. It's very similar to the pigment Lumai, however it is a little bit less, I guess, iridescent. It doesn't seem like it's as magical as Lumai. So I'm just taking that onto a flat brush and applying this to the center of my eyelid space only, where I applied the lip top coat earlier. Just really patting that on very carefully. It's really hard to see the effect on this camera, but in real life this effect is so pretty and so iridescent. It's very subtle, but it looks very magical on your eyelids. Afterwards, I'm going to use this liquid eyeliner from Ico. It's a very nice felt tip eyeliner pen which allows for careful precision. Which I don't have my need for this look, but you know, whatever. So I'm just going to draw a um, very simple cat eye. First starting at the outer corner and bringing the line up. Then bringing the line inwards. And then filling in the rest of my eyelid with a very small line. Then taking black eyeshadow and just buffing the line slightly upwards. Now I'm going to use this mascara right here from Ico called their Lash Alert Mascara. So as always I'm going to apply this to my upper and lower lashes to make them a little bit more visible, since they're not ever visible. Stupid lashes, goddamn. Using Aphrodite once again, I'm going to buff that in the inner parts of my eyebrows, or where they should be. Yes, I kind of always never have eyebrows, but I'm just buffing that right there to give a little hint of an eyebrow shape, copying the sculpture. Then applying a set of false lashes, and this time I'm not going to say yeah boy, or maybe I am. No, it's not. So, any hoot, after that, you are done with the eyes. So now it's time to move on to the face. First, you want to reach for a pink blush. This one here is from Etude House, and it's in the color number six. That's not a color, is it? No. So, using a big fluffy brush, I'm going to apply a liberal amount of this to my cheeks and nose. Afterwards, you want to use any contouring powder you have. I have this one here from Makeup Geek, which is pretty good, but I'm going to be using it for freckles. The sculpture had freckles, FYI, I'm not just adding this for the heck of it, so I'm just taking a small um, Creoline paintbrush and just applying little dots all over my nose and cheeks. If it looks too intense, just take your finger and very gently pat away at it. And this will sort of take away the intensity of it. And now it's time for one of my favorite parts, the rhinestones. So I bought some iridescent and pearl rhinestones from Michaels, of course. 
I'm like there at least two times per week now, which is like so embarrassing, but... But first I'm going to use some Kiss Eyelash Glue. And I'm going to apply this in a sort of chandelier pattern on my forehead. Give it 30 seconds or so to get tacky. Then apply these rhinestones on top. So after that, you want to go in and use a red lipstick. This one here is from Kat Von D, which I won through a contest for Halloween, which I'm so proud of. And what I'm going to do here is first apply this on my upper lip, only in the center, and really making sure that the Cupid's bow is very um, precise. Then applying that to the center of my bomb lip. Then taking a brush and very lightly patting that outwards. Then afterwards, I'm going to go in with a red liquid lipstick, which I also won in the contest, and what is with this name? I am, like, so confused about this name. Like, why is it called this? But <clears throat> I'm just going to apply this in the center of my lips as I did before. And just buffing that out very slightly using a brush. And for a final touch, I'm using a orange glittery shadow, which I believe is from Sugar Pill, and applying that to the center of my lips. Anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this transformation, I encourage you to share it on social media such as Twitter or Reddit, or you could comment down below or leave a like. Anyways, I will see you all later and if you haven't already, hit that sub button or smash it or lightly tap it, I don't know. <laughs> Bye!